Oh shit, we cooking. Oh, I thought it was a meme. Look. <laughs> this is a very important part. That's why I have this other camera set up. I'm sorry, this one's like lagging, I guess. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, no, it's not a meme. Okay, hold on. Is it like <laughs> fucking loud can't you just shave the taters with your tongue that's true yeah I'm, I'm trying to like make sure you guys can also do this um so I'm, that's why i'm using a peeler otherwise normally i just use you know my, my nails and stuff like that we're good i know some people like to keep like the eyes and like the brown parts on the actual potato like below the skin i don't like to my parents were always like no if you keep like an eye in like the potato like you fucking you die and you eat it you die like that's pretty much what I was told growing up, so. It's fucking gross. Yeah, I know, I, I hate it, but I know some people, like, I was watching someone else peel potatoes, and like, they kept all those spots in, and I'm just like, what? Why? No. It's horrible. All right, sick. Potato done. The only reason I, I, I use the, the two fucking instant pots, I use that, um, and so it takes a while for the pressure to kind of get built up and, since I'm only doing one packet of meat, um, I might as well just uh, get that started first. first before doing the meat. So I really want to use Italian breadcrumbs, but um, the store ran out of bread, uh, Italian, so I've just been using just the plain ones. Like, the store was completely out. Regular brain, brain crumbs, breadcrumbs and Italian seasoning. Easy clap, boys. I have like three jars of Italian seasoning, so might as well. Alright. So I have it set. You know me. I'm super organized, believe it or not. Alright, breadcrumbs with Italian herbs, easy clap, meat, and a single egg. What's up, bub? Right. Ooh, look at that! Measurements wise, I um, probably have measurements. This kind of stuff's just been passed down through my family, so I don't know. But, so it's just gonna be some mustard, no clue how much, just kinda eyeing it. Some barsley, just kinda eyeing it. Mustard, yeah, that's it, actually. Uh, that's it. That's all you need. Some pepper, and some salt. Alright. So. Right before I start um, covering it, kind of like this, I'm actually gonna try and move this webcam. There we go. It's a little bit better. Sick. I'm hoping it doesn't fucking fall. Um, I'm gonna start heating up the oil because it fucking takes forever. That was. There's not that much of it left, so whatever. Start heating up the oil. Um, so, my family, the way we used to do it, we used to take just a big piece of um, eye of brown and then slice it. Um, luckily in Texas, people are like fucking lazy, so they already have it pre-sliced, basically. That's what it looks like. So here's what one piece of meat looks like. They're really thin, uh, small pieces. You can always cut them in half. They're roughly this small because they're gonna shrink because it's the oil and whatnot as well. Make that shit coated as fuck, and then toss it. So I'm just kind of coating it, but I'm pressing it into it because it's, yeah, it's smooth, but it's not completely smooth. So you want to make sure that there's, at least it sticks somewhat. 
since we're not using, you know, um, actual, like, fry. We're just using breadcrumbs. So I'm just gonna shake it off. And there she is. Look at her. So even though I pressed down, like, it's still pretty thin. You can kind of still see the thing. So. Hot sauce. You can. You absolutely can. You can put whatever you want in the egg, in the egg wash. Um, like I said, this is just kind of my family's recipe. We just do egg, parsley, salt, and pepper. But you can eat these, like, either hot or cold. They're fucking great. Just throw them in a sandwich in between bread and shit. Fucking poggers. You can also do, uh, variants of this. So, like, if you do acabajo, milanesa acabajo, it's with a fried egg, or napolitana, it's with uh, mozzarella and cheese, and you bake it. You can make these out of chicken. I'm using beef because I'm not a heathen. Alright, so, yeah. And then this is the downside of it. It just cakes your, your fingers and stuff, but... I apologize, the sound of the sink is the loudest sound in existence. Oh, what happened to this last piece of- Dude, this looks so sad. It's so small. <laughs> this poor thing, dude, look at it. <laughs> it's so tiny, oh my god. Poor thing, bro. Breadcrumbs. Um, I'm only gonna keep these up to check if the oil is uh, hot enough. Alright, sweet. So we're gonna start frying these bad boys. So if it starts to fry already with the uh, with the breadcrumbs in it, then it's it's pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start frying these boys for now. Yeah, so that's why I keep the breadcrumbs is to check if the if the oil is hot enough. Um, once it starts frying and it gets that golden color, then you're good. Yeah, so don't just like dip your hand into that. It's, it's not usually good. All right, so I don't, yeah, you can kind of see that they're they're getting a little uh, a little golden. So with the yeah, inside though, they'll they'll start um, they'll start like kind of golden, and then when you set them outside outside of the oil, they get like darker. So um. oh well. All right, here's our first boy. You can kind of see how he's golden in comparison to that. This one's got like a big ass pocket. <laughs> it doesn't want to like cook all the way in. I realize these are gonna be so fucking massive. But yeah, the, the they'll like sink the bottom, and then as they're frying, they'll start coming back up, and they're bubble, they'll bubble up and whatnot. So see how like they already kind of darkened a little bit between the three of them. All right, this is gonna be kind of loud. Um. I'm gonna warn you, so turn the, like, the volume down, this is gonna be really fucking- so. so the reason I fucking- <laughs> I'm playing this fucking song is because of these. So, it is a bop, but I have fucking these, so. These are funny, bro! All right, some of y'all have posted pictures in the past of some dry ass mashed potatoes. I don't want none of that shit, so I'm gonna actually show you how I do my mashed potatoes because some of y'all are heathens, okay? So I have the three mashed potatoes, just a little bit of uh, water left in them. They are easy to make, but people still fuck it up. Like, I don't understand how people manage to still fuck it up. All right, fuck this salt container. Listen, Pat, okay, I'm sorry I've offended you and your dry ass fucking mashed potatoes. So, for now, obviously I'm gonna add in more, but um, I'm actually putting some nutmeg in here. So, some G Fuel. We're gonna make these gaming potatoes, bro. We're gonna put nutmeg in. It's fucking bomb, dude. Nut! We're gonna put milk in to not make it fucking dry because you people somehow, for some reason, don't fucking, like, oh god, the pictures I've seen of fucking dry ass mashed potatoes, I'm doing about, like, two little blocks. But 
But like, see how creamy these bitches are? Like, holy fuck. More nutmeg, obviously salt, pepper to taste and whatnot. That's what good pussy sounds like, bro. All right, get a piece. Like I can't do fancy plating and shit because I don't care. I'm actually gonna put lemon juice on the munaisa itself. And that's it, boys. We're done. GG easy. Look at that shit. Mm. Look at this fancy ass knife, bro. That shit. Hot. I need a fork though, man. What am I doing? Okay, so you're sort of properly eating on it, so that's why I'm gonna take a big ass piece. It's delicious. Put mashed potatoes on top of it. Come on, fucking whiskey.